Welcome back to Therapus today for our intro. We have a very special, highly requested guest, Bajules. Hey. Okay, so do you want to talk? Yeah, but what do we do in the intro? Do you want to talk? Oh, Jake thinks, Jake thinks we've had beef the whole weekend. We've fought the entire weekend. <laughs> we really haven't, We though. fought Friday. We fought Saturday. And then we fought Sunday. <laughs> and then her boyfriend didn't want to hang out with me. I didn't think we were fighting. Okay, well, I'm, At glad, all. I'm glad you didn't think so. Okay, well. It's hot in here. Okay, well, what are your top three off the Beyonce album now that we're here? Okay, my fave personally is. Um, Should we guess each other's top three? Yeah. Yours is just for fun. Sorry. Yours is just for fun. <laughs> yeah. With Willie Jones. Yes. Um, What's my other two? Daughter. Yes. And like, it's the Miley one. Yeah, I would yeah. say that's probably my third. Okay. Okay. Two Hands to Heaven, mm-hmm. the Miley one, mm-hmm. Levi Jeans. Yeah, or Protector. They're probably tied. Okay. I'm I glad love that, that one. We, it like, makes me most. the right ones. Mm-hmm. Okay, should we guess our top three off the Casey album now? Yes. Okay. Okay, Deeper Well. Deeper Well is obviously number one for both of us. The Architect. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, <laughs> what what's your two then? Um, nothing to be scared of. I like nothing to be scared of. I like, what's that other one? That, oh, Sway. No, I don't love that one. I don't love Sway. Give or take her. Okay. Give or okay, slash so take her. we have like the same top three. And then for Ari- I also like Jade Green. I know you don't like that one though. It's not my favorite. So we need to lose 10 pounds before Coachella. <laughs> <laughs> it's in two weeks. Peyton texted me today. Okay, it's officially two weeks. It's time to detox. I'm like, girl- well, like we, oh, we have an issue. We came home from dinner and dessert and made, made popcorn. popcorn. <laughs> and it was like a Sunday roast. And we yeah, made popcorn. I came home Do you know how so full. Sh- in bed last night. Your skin I- was stretching, right? Stretching. <laughs> it was stretching. And I literally had never felt so bad about myself. Yeah, I felt like that all weekend. Um, I think this is a proper time to announce that we are doing Bejewels' quarter birthday episode. Yes. We're filming that next week. Yeah, on Monday. On Monday. A week from today. Oh my God, I'm so excited for that. I know, what should we dress up as? Cowboys? Okay. Okay, well, do you have a better idea? No, not right now. Um, um Guys, Jake outed me to Nina Dobrev. <gasps> I did. <laughs> because we saw her. Well, at- first of all, we were in the gym. Well, no, actually, just continue. We saw her at the Aloe Gym, and obviously I'm her biggest fan, but like, I wasn't going to be weird. I'm Jake's guest and then we were like leaving whatever whatever and she was standing there and Jake in front of everyone was like by the way Nina Julia is your biggest fan of all time we dressed up as vampires and drank out of blood bags on my podcast and she was like oh and Julia was like yeah (laughs) (laughs) is this what you do in the intro I've never watched an intro before I'm honestly really enjoying this intro you normally it's very hard for me to do my intro Oh, I have my date tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Where are you guys going? Did he confirm yet? Should I confirm today or tomorrow? Well, shouldn't he confirm? Did he confirm? That's not you how said this he, works in Jake Land. You said he hasn't confirmed yet. No. And he hasn't said where he's taking you. Absolutely not. Okay. <laughs> so should I text him tomorrow being like, are we confirmed? Yeah. I was going to say, if you want to talk about Buck now. Oh, yeah. Let's talk about the girls who made me a sign. Oh, yes. There's a girl. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> Julia is texting me after my show. I can't believe these girls made me a sign. Da, da, da. At first, I'm like, so cute, so cute. And then she's like, wait, so like, do you have higher quality pictures of the sign? Like, I want to post the sign. And I'm like, no, yeah, the show was great. Thank you for asking. And she goes, sorry, I pulled a you. <laughs> well, I thought about me for once. Yeah, that's okay. And they made you a sign. Thank you for being in my intro, Bejewels. Of course. As, as per usual, a poo. Submit. Tell me what's wrong. To pass that post.com. Send me your number. And I'll see you guys next week. She'll see you guys. She'll see you guys next week. Mwah. Mwah. Hi, pussies, and welcome back to Therapus. I can and do it. Tense up. Oh, yes, you can. And before we even start speaking, um, Larry, who is the guest today, Hello. who I was going to do a lovely intro for, but we must switch sides. Yes, because this is my bad side, and I'd rather die than sit on this side. So, so get the fuck up, Jay. So we're switching sides. Thank you. What if I just threw you down? Yeah, well. <sighs> 
It'd be okay, the first time in a long time. That I'm so excited to be here. Oh my god! Well, you guys, Larry is like one of my was probably my first friend in this space. This is true. God, I've never been in. I have never filmed in this chair before. Can we just okay before we even continue? Let's talk about the elephant in the room and not you because you lost hella weight. Hello. Oh, are you yes. serious? Yes. No, because you're on your gr even though you've been shaking. I'm not even kidding. My friend sent me a video <laughs> of you. Um, doing Pilates and shaking. She was like, I want what workout he's having. I said, babe, that's Adderall. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't play. I don't play. See, the bitches do it for the Instagram story. You're doing this shit because you want to better yourself. Yes. I love it. Yeah, so I what was it. the elephant in the room? Um, That you look good. Oh. You know, let's appreciate it. I think you look- Thank you. you. Glowing. It looks like you got dick. Oh, you know what? I haven't. Oh. The let's change that. That's what I'm saying. You need some dick. I desperately need it. I need to catch a dick like yesterday. Catch a dick. Wait, that's a good one. Can you? What, what do you do? Acronyms. Yeah. How do you put CAD? Call it CAD. 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 Catch a dick. He needs a CAG. You guys, for those who don't know, uh -huh. before I did this full time, I was the assistant to someone on Larry's management team. Larry had to go on a brand thing to Las Vegas. I did. So I took my fat ass at the time out of bed <laughs> and. That ass was fat that day. Yeah. <laughs> Very fat. Oh my gosh. And we went to Vegas together. You no, know, we had a fucking blast. We had a blast. That was like my first intro into this world. I remember being like, oh, we're influencers. And Larry Timing goes, no, no, no. <laughs> you can't call them that. And I go, what What do you mean? He goes, no, they're content creators. And that's what you will be using from now on. Yes, I thank you. Because influencing is a stretch. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's talk about the fact that we were drunk. We were hammered. Hammered. And I was like on the clock. You, so fucking what? I'm yeah. sorry. If you're working for me, you gotta drink. That's what I was saying. Like, Larry was like, just start drinking. And I was like, <laughs> um, I guess, right? Like, what am I supposed to do? Good so fact. I started drinking. All right, let's get the and bullshit. You your let's ass. get the bullshit. Because now we're just, we're, now you're in the chair. Okay, now right? I'm you're in the chair. In the chair well, you, get, I'm going to let you run this. Well, absolutely. And you know, I want to get to the root of the problem. Okay. Why are you gay? Why? Um, what happened at your child? <laughs> What? I'm actually trying to think about like what my sexual awakening was. Um, I don't know. I used to bite people. Like, were you a biter or were you bitten? Excuse me? <laughs> like, what do you mean by my that? My mom tweeted the other day, like, mom of one biter here. And I remember being like, oh, she's talking about me. Dude, that's how you talk about a dog. But I, <laughs> you used to bite people? Like, yeah, I was, I bit kids. Okay, James. Like,. <laughs> Let's put it on the floor, Big Lotto. Shit. <laughs> like, put it on the floor then, y'all. Like, you get in the fucking chair, don't know how to act. <laughs> okay. But like, I guess- No, seriously. Biting kids. Like, when like, I was four, like, I like, bit a few kids, like, on the playground. I love this fucking studio. You like it? Dude, this is so awesome. I'm is so it, proud of you. Oh, this thanks, is Larry. I was just telling them how, like, I almost got emotional just thinking about the oh. fact where you came from, and now you're here. Congrats. Oh, like, you're I, getting your flowers, and it's you. I love you. It's so- What? Okay. I said to you. <laughs> I love you too. I love you too. Seriously. That's but, really sweet. Well, Larry's been here since the beginning. Yeah, I've seen you grow. Yeah. Like, well, literally and physically, I've seen you Yeah. Or I guess, like, and, lose and yeah. grow. And how do you feel about it now? What? This world? Yeah. And, like, you just now, because. I feel I'm learning to, like, I've, I'm always looking for the next thing and, like, mm -hmm. pushing and, like, being more successful, like, just, like, working and being better. Yeah. But. Sometimes it's important to look around and see the view. Dude, but the only thing, okay, I have a list of things that I hate. Okay, well, do you want to read them? Do you want me to? I would love to. Oh my God, where's my phone? Greg, can you call my phone? Oh, it's here. That's actually one of the first things I learned about Larry is that he loses things. He loses a lot of things. Guys. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I lost my ID at least 15 times. Greg can vouch. We, he didn't bring his ID to Vegas. What do I need it for? Vegas! Oh, true. <laughs> <laughs> I just got it. No, but okay, I'm in my fucking era. Uh -huh. Let me talk my shit. Yeah. I got a air tag with my wallet. Oh. And I've been keeping up with my shit. Damn. Yeah, I'm so proud of myself. Damn. My mom should be proud. Okay. This is my list of bitch, I cannot fucking stand you. Okay. I made this list about two months ago. Okay. And it was only for my own personal reasons. Okay. The guy who invented milk. <laughs> That's fucking. Is, did weird. you bring this up on purpose? Did you see my skit last night? This is literally so old. <laughs> that's crazy. But no, this is not why I'm bringing it up. Okay, so, okay, continue. But don't you think that's fucking weird? <laughs> and then I have small talk. What do you mean, how are you? I want to kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I literally have. 
<laughs> I have that one, and then I have ignoring the elephant in the room. Wait, now. there was some guy on the the Vegas trip that was like, <laughs> and then like Larry, <laughs> who the fuck was that? Larry, when where I, were you? Like, <laughs> What Vegas trip did you go on? I didn't remember that. Never mind, just continue. Just okay, my bad. <laughs> um, and then that's, I have more, but like, it's just a bunch of nonsense. Well, it's really, God, you're such a perfect guest because the first thing I was going to ask you was what are you therapist about? And I guess, I mean, is there anything else more like time sensitive that you're pissed about? Um, Honestly, the one, th okay, the, the biggest thing is the elephant in the room. I'm the type of person where like, <laughs> You know, as I started this podcast, let's talk about the elephant room. I have to address it. So know? that's what you're pissed about. Not really pissed about it, but more like, well, we all should just do it. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, change the conversation. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, what's tea? What you got for me? I don't know. I'm trying to think. What have you been positive about this week? Um, okay. So there's one thing that I've been learning. I have learned that um, when bad situations happen to me, I used to look at them in like a, why is this happening to me right. kind of situation thing. And now I've been looking at them as like, what are you trying to teach me or what can I learn from this? Oh, wow, Larry. Yeah, and it's been really nice looking at it in that lens. Um, I've learned a lot about myself, so, like, that's a positive. That's I, amazing. Yeah. I can tell you're glowing internally and externally. I got dick. You did? No. Mm -hmm. Ooh. No. Ooh. Ooh. And let's get to the cards. <laughs> tell me what's wrong. Okay, you know how to do this, right? Yeah, I've watched. How do you do it? Um, You're going to read a prompt and then I tell them what's wrong. Okay, yeah, period. A guy in prison is in love with me, Jake, and he won't stop. Oh, my God, and they gave me their number so we can call them. <laughs> what? Hello? Hi, this is Jake. I got your tell me what's wrong. Does she have asthma? Yeah. No, I got, I, it's Jake. I got your tell me what's wrong. Oh, oh Jake. Hi, Jake. Hi. Hi. This, this is awesome. What's your name? Jamie. Hi, Jamie. Hi. Well, so you're in love with some, or a guy in prison is in love with you? Yes, and it's scary. But how did you come in contact with him? So here's what you never do is go on a TikTok and follow their advice about writing people in prison because they're sad and lonely. Wait, I'm actually sitting here with someone and yeah. he actually, his name's Larry and he did that as well. And he is about to give you some advice on what you should do now that this guy in prison's in love with you. Larry, please tell me. <clears throat> Hey, girl. Hey. Change your name and move different locations because now you're in danger. Oh, no. Don't say such a thing. Oh, girl. <laughs> yeah, girl. He's after you. You're fucked. Larry. What? No. Give me the phone. Oh. <laughs> Jamie, I am so sorry. I'm so sorry let's for my friend. <laughs> it's really okay. So let's be real here. Run. Like, <laughs> is it... Are you like freaked out? Like, what's the vibe? How do you know? Is he like addicted to you? Does he keep writing to you? Like, yeah, what's the vibe? We're talking about it in me. Like, me like, and I just keep trying to just be nice. And okay. Like, well, is he how how was he getting in contact with you? Oh, what's he in for? Do you know that? Yeah, he uh, stabbed somebody in a robbery. Oh, that's cute. Okay. Well, at least it. Um, okay. Like he's about his money. I love that. Larry says at least he's about his money. He's standing on business. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, he is, and yes. his drugs apparently. Oh. <laughs> okay. Wait, he's a dealer. How much? What? What? Yeah, what drugs was he dealing? Uh, I think like heroin, opiates, things like Coachella. That. <laughs> oh my god, yo, this is lit. <laughs> um, okay, so he keeps writing you. Does he have your home address? He does. I'm so stupid. Oh my god. She's oh fuck. Jamie. I know. I Hang know. up, Jake. You're putting I yourself know. in danger. <laughs> you're you're right. a liability now. Move. You don't, maybe that, you know what I would do actually? I would bring it to the cops and just be like, I've gotten myself into a bit of a pickle. How should I proceed? I think you're right. I don't know. I've not known what to do. None of my friends know what to do. And I don't want to be mean because then I don't want him hunting me down. So. No, a hundred percent. Go to the cops. Guys, we're talking about I an think inmate, you're right. by the way. Okay, well. well honestly, on a side note, I love you, and I think you're fabulous. Oh, Jamie, I think you're fabulous. Oh, well, thank you. Where's your accent from? Where, where in the South are you from? <laughs> I'm right outside Nashville. Yes! Wait, which part, Jamie? <laughs> Larry says which part? Uh. Oh, period. I was in Mount Juliet. Okay. You okay. see me. I you know. see me. Yeehaw. Nashville's better than everywhere, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, Jamie, I'm so sorry to hear about so sorry, Jamie. your your lover from prison who isn't your lover. Yeah. Uh, well, I appreciate you calling and checking on me and making sure I'm okay. You know what, Jamie? I'm going to call again in a week and see how you're doing. 
Okay, please do. I wish you would. Okay, love See, you, Jamie. This is why. All right, love you too. Bye. What? <laughs> And also, like, her saying, oh, I don't want to be mean to him. He stabbed somebody, Jamie. Like, holy fuck. That was one of the crazier calls I've had. Yeah. Well, now you're at risk. Yeah, am I? Yeah. Let him see this podcast episode. You're fucked. Yeah, Jamie, fuck. <laughs> I walked into my... <laughs> I walked in my dad's room to catch him having sex with my teacher. Oh, so she did it on purpose. I've seen her in the hallway a few times, and I've yet to talk to her. She's so fucking ungrateful. Her dad's fucking her teacher so she gets a higher grade. Yeah. Stop being ungrateful. Oh my God. My dad used to hit me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I thought this was a safe space. It is a safe space. We're in therapy. We're right. It was hard. Do you want to talk about it? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, tell your mom. Dude, cheating is not okay. It sounds like maybe that they're divorced. Oh. Because I think she'd be like, and he's cheating on my mom. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. Well... Honestly, just mind the business that pays you. Why are you worried what your dad's doing? You know. I guess you're right. But like, also like, take that. Use see. Nobody likes to work these days. <laughs> that right there is an advantage. Use right. That, I know? would prescribe. Hold on, it's on the tip of my tongue. Do we prescribe Jamie? By the way, yeah, I prescribed her the police. Oh, okay. Period. <laughs> Look, do, you have, do you have anything else to prescribe to her? A, a gun. <laughs> <laughs> Protection, girl. <laughs> I prescribe. What is it? Starts dating their teacher. What am I? Is it? Is do they do that in Friday Night Lights? Honestly, I when the think. fuck do they, Louise? What am I thinking of? I prescribe sativa. Sativa. Oh, okay. You know, mm -hmm. maybe like she because she can like really. I don't know. Yeah. Which one's the chill one? Is that sativa? Indica. Oh, fuck it. Hybrid. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what is the show where they start dating their teacher? No, that's Aria dates the teacher. I'm trying to think like the mom, the teacher, and the... Uh, what is it? Oh my God, it's on the tip of my tongue. I'm going to freak out. Oh. <sighs> I, just, I just saw you flipping shit. Like, <laughs> that's crazy. What is it? Okay, they get home and then they start dating the teacher and it's like... Bad teacher. No. No, easy A. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like they start dating... the, 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 the Their parent starts dating the teacher and it's fucking awkward and they're like, I don't know what to do about this. Like they meet at a parent-teacher conference. Like the dad... Do you, you know exactly what I'm talking about, don't you? What is it? I'm not going to be able to move on until I think about this. I'm just letting everyone know now. We got all day, baby. Is it? You're not thinking of Degrassi, are you? Nope, but I love Degrassi. Such a good show. The best show. Who was your fave? Drake. Yep. I thought the wheelchair was super inclusive. It was. I loved it. Yeah. They, yeah. Probably couldn't walk with the piece of meat he was carrying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the f do you know exactly what I'm talking about though right yeah, but I'm <sighs> 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 open your phone and try google maybe <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna prescribe whatever I'm thinking of okay and I'll prescribe indica it's and hybrid hybrid yeah okay fuck dude yeah that was hard I met a guy at a bar and we really hit it off. I went home with him and one thing led to another. I left that morning and we haven't talked since. Three months later, I see this guy at a family reunion. <gasps> what the hell? I'm really hoping he's someone's date, but we both gave each other a weird look. So this could possibly be her cousin. Yeah. I've been here before. Okay. Have you actually? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Vegas. Mm -hmm. Um... I'm going to say, do we prescribe or do we give our input on this? You, want, but both. Both? Okay. My input is, you definitely are probably fucking your cousin, and that's okay. It happens. Right? Okay. It right? happens. It happens. Oh, I know what happens in your family. <laughs> um, I would prescribe, I don't know, this is a really tricky situation. This is like a big headache, so I'll prescribe Tylenol. Okay. You know, you're prescribing like real meds. Yeah. Wait, is that not what we're supposed to no, do? No, it is. I prescribe um, Mean Girls because in Mean Girls, Karen thinks her cousin is hot. Okay. 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 Like I they're at a party and then Gretchen Wiener is just like, Karen, that's your cousin. Oh, wow. So like you might, you didn't know it's not your fault. It's a little yeah. awkward. It's actually super awkward. But like yeah. I watch Mean Girls, you'll feel better about yourself. Exactly. What he said times two. And um, maybe Clueless as well. I'm pretty sure she like fucks her stepbrother. What? You've never seen Clueless? Uh, yeah, but she fucks her what? Paul Rudd. Isn't that her stepbrother? Wow, I'm really like lacking in the, the pop, pop culture world. What have you been watching lately? Like like mental health videos. Really? It's 
fucking dark. No movie. TV, nothing? I know, actually. Oh my God, have you seen Avatar yet? No. So good. Is it? It's really good. Really? I feel like yeah. they've made 10 different remakes of Avatar. and Yeah, the other one was ghetto as hell, but this one just really hit different. Really? Yeah. I mean. Was it live action? Yeah. Okay. It was really good. And it's interesting. It's so good. How many episodes? Uh, eight. Okay, right now I'm rewatching Jersey Shore, so I need to maybe put a pin Jersey in that. Jersey Shore so good. Oh my gosh, what is it called? Karma? Oh, yes, I and they shut it down. <gasps> they just Why? bulldozed it. The whole thing shut down. They're stupid for that. I know. Who are you in Jersey Shore? I, you're, I'm Snooki. You're Snooki? Of you course. You are Snooki. I am Snooki. Oh I'm her gosh. height. Um, I grew up when I was 10 years old. I made my dad take me to meet her at the local Barnes & Noble. <gasps> Your dad is so awesome for and that. And he took me and waited in line for three hours. What, did he know? Yeah, he knew. He, he just wanted to make me happy. It was my That's birthday. That's so amazing. Yeah, and he took me and I made Snooki a... Oh my God, wait, my dad's the best. Your dad is the best. Shout out to Jake's dad. Yeah. Oh my God, goals. And then I met um, Sammy and Ronnie at Korean Barbecue. What? And Yonkers. That's <laughs> yeah. awesome. Yeah, I was like, oh my God, that's Sammy and Ronnie. Yeah. And then I met Jay Wow for the first time the other day. Wow. So yeah. you met the whole cast. No, uh, yeah, and I met Mike the Situation. Uh, who, who, who do I have? I have Dina I still need to meet. I have Polly D. I didn't really Vinny. like Dina. I haven't seen Jersey, like I haven't seen her seasons. I'm not there yet. I'm on mm -hmm. Miami still where Angelina is still causing mayhem. So Angelina was so pick me. She was the worst. The worst. She's evil. She's like a gnat. Yeah, she was like, oh, she was talk she's <laughs> talking shit about everyone in the house. Everybody. Dude, when Snicky and J Will wrote the letter for Sammy. That's what the episode I watched last night. So it's some of it's that's like girlhood. historical. And Snooky's like, I Jenny and I are scared to go back to the house for the drama. That we caused. Yeah. And I sent it to Julia and I go, that's us. <laughs> that's you and me. Yeah. Oh my God. You she loves friends. you. You have great friends. I do have great friends. I really do. do you, Louise, you know him and Julia are like bestie booze. Yeah, that's my bitch. Yeah, she can she can drink. Yeah. <laughs> she can drink down. <laughs> Julia can drink. That bit, That's, a, yeah. And you look at her and you don't think so, but nah, she can. No, she, she can. puts it down. She puts it down. Yeah. Tequila is her friend. Oh my God, Tequila's her best friend. Yeah, Jesus damn, Christ. Zach's wedding was fun. It was. You want to hear the most cunt part about the night I caught a dick at Zach's wedding? Tell me about it. I guess we're just really outing the names at this point. The guy <laughs> I hooked up with, his name was <laughs> and I left <laughs> the hoodie from Zach's wedding that's a <laughs> at his house. It was kind of meta. No, wait, that's so Cinderella of you. Yeah, I was like, here, this, wow. this is what you'll have to remember me by. Has he texted you? Yeah, and he leaves me a few voicemails here and there. Oh, I'm so not you gonna got get... that. Wait, you got that way, way. <laughs> oh, wait, I knew you put. I told you, you fuck. <laughs> yeah, so y'all keep playing with Jake Shane now, because when he gets in the bed, he doesn't fucking play. Oh, Super so Larry, thousand. <laughs> you go a fool in a day like a bitch with no teeth. Ugh. I want to see you fight. Yeah, I don't think I'd win. You know, we should bring back boxing matches, and I want to put you in the same ring against. Um, who would I want to see you fight? I think it'd be a such Jeffrey Star. Okay. <laughs> Jeffrey Star and his five Pomeranians versus you. I want to see you fight Noah back. Oh, you could see that. <laughs> Y'all could, could all see that. I think I would beat Noah's ass. I'm just kidding. I think Noah would actually kill me. Yeah. I feel like he's like a, looks like a cinnamon roll could kill you. Looks like a cinnamon roll can kill you. That's the best definition of Noah Beck. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Looks like he's such a sweetheart. He's the nicest person I've ever met. But like that means you're hiding something. What's so nice about you? What's his star sign? Taurus. He's the best. I love Tauruses. He's the best. She's a Taurus. You're a Taurus? Yeah. I love you. Seriously. But also, I just like love Tauruses. Y'all are so sweet. They're grounded. They, are. they have great perspectives. This is the most LA conversation in the fucking world. I mean, I ask everybody what their star sign is. <sighs> My brain's rotted. I'm like, wait, I'm best friends with my ex-girlfriend. I'm a lesbian, don't even blame me. And she keeps telling me about her new boyfriend. He's so sweet, but I kind of miss her now that she's taken again. Um, okay, I just don't think she can be friends with her ex. That's really toxic. That's so toxic. Are That's you friends with any of your exes? No comment. So no. Text me back, I miss you. Personally, I think being friends with your ex is just the worst idea known to mankind. Uh -huh. You're just asking for just like... Trauma. Yeah, and just a lot of just fucking unneeded... Fucking drama, basically. Right. Are you on Hinge? I try to. You don't like it? You on Raya? I, no. I, I'm afraid of dating apps because the thought process of someone screenshotting my profile yep. and tweeting it. Yeah. But also, I'm Ugh. so afraid of, like, matching with somebody and then they match you with for the, um, the wrong reasons. Yeah, see, I don't care about that. as long, like, a, like, a dick is a dick. Oh. That's how desperate I am. Don't use that word. You're not desperate. 
You're Do you want to have you heard about my date? Did I tell you about my date the Don't other talk week? To me. <sighs> this is I'm the perfect person to talk about this. I was talking to this guy for like a year and then mm-hmm. we finally go on a date. Okay. Or he's like finally like let's grab a drink. And I meet up with him after I went to that Tommy Hilfiger fashion show. And so I was in denim on denim. And I was like, like, amazing, by the way. I just thank you. I literally said that today. Thank you. Yeah. And I said, I'm I'm in denim on denim. Like, I think I need a change. And he responds hot. So I'm like, oh, my God, this is already the best night ever. I'm just gonna, I'm like, okay, I'm going to come to the date dressed yeah. in denim on denim. And then we're like one glass of wine in. And he's like, and I'm like, da, da, da. And then I came to this date. And he's like, wait, this what are you talking about? This isn't a date. I don't want to hook up with you. Mm-hmm. And I was like. So you're telling me he's a fucking psychopath and we need to kill him? Yeah, maybe. And he was like, and then he pitched to be the producer of my podcast. I was like, you have to get through Nolan first. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so this motherfucker took you on a date? Took me? I took him. What? The check came. I put my card down and he goes, thank you. Wait, what? After he told me he didn't want to date me or hook up with me and wanted to be the producer of my podcast. What? It was wild. Wait, so how hold on we got to debunk this yeah where is he now do we still talk to him he's in new york he texted me the next day and then commented on my instagram are you guys still friends Can you no he's gonna, okay you're a fucking idiot and i hope you fucking stub your toe maybe get hit by a car you fucking dumbass. now back to you if you ever let a guy do that to you again call me i swear to god i'll fucking show up with a shotgun and i should have been his fucking throat that's rude right that's fucked up and i was like am i being outlandish i called louise i was like am i being crazy no, right now not at all what like, the hell that's fucked up. He it, needs to fall in the tectonic plates and die. Like, right. That's fucked up. Yeah. You deserve better and better will come, but just not on Grinder. Not on Grinder. You meet him on Grinder? No, I met him in person. That's the worst. And then we like <laughs> had a flirty conversation for like a year. Oh, so fucking annoying. Just love it in real. Oh, what do I prescribe this girl who's still friends with her ex? The real question is, what do we prescribe you? <laughs> <laughs> At this point, I'm like, I don't know. What do we prescribe me? Maybe new meds. I've been saying I need to change up my meds these days. Are, are you, you on meds? You, no, what are you on? Prozac. Should I get on that? It's amazing. It do you lit? suffer anxiety from anxiety? I used to. Do you not anymore? No, because I don't leave my house now. That's anxiety. Oh, maybe I need... <laughs> well, thank you, doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get them over here, yeah? Do you want my psychiatrist? She hasn't asked many questions. Can I do a story post for it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to pay for that shit. You're telling me I have to go through mental health and pay for it? I'm no, I like they, they can take your insurance. I don't even think I have insurance. Greg, do I have insurance? Greg, does he have insurance? Oh. That's crazy that I have to ask. No, I, I honestly don't know if I... I mean, I think I have insurance. Louise, do I have insurance? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, do you have insurance? Yes. <laughs> Give young adults a platform, everybody. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Oh, God. I prescribe insurance. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a single girl in college, and I feel like every time I go out, guys always go for my friends, but never me. I'm happy for them, but it feels like always the bridesmaid, never the bride situation. Ugh, I feel that. that do you actually? Uh, yes. I'm not even talking about I'll fucking cry right now. Oh. I used to feel that way, too. Really? Mm-hmm. And, and to her, I'm so sorry that you feel that way. <sighs> I have no advice for you. You have no advice, even though you've been through the same exact thing and saw the other side. I had to change a lot about myself. I so tell even, her. Um, <laughs> do you just want to know for yourself? Yeah. <laughs> um, going well, honestly, going. Why are my out, legs like this? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you look like this chair is like. I'm so sorry to every guest you know I've what ever you had. Look on. like what? You're gonna walk like you. Have you seen those TikTok words like Faza? I want the maid's head. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> you look like that kid that would be like, you would yank onto your dad's sweater and be like, Faza, I want the maid's head removed. Wait, what is this? Anyways, back to this conversation. Yeah. Um, so wait, so we, I want to hear your feelings on this so then I can give her some input. When you go out, do you feel as though like the duff of the friend group? Like, uh, it's different because all my friends are girls. Okay. Um, which you can never compare to, by the way. Right. So it's like, I can't really compare. I just started hanging out with my two gay friends. Mm-hmm. I finally have like some gay friends. So I haven't really Good. experienced it yet, but I'm sure I will experience it because Perfect. they're cons- I'm pretty, they're considerably more attractive than I am. It's just objective. Yeah. And um, I, I think, I don't know. I would, I don't know. How, I would probably get really upset. But the thing I would do is like, Maybe reevaluate the reasons why you're going out. Yeah, thank you. Okay, um, you answered it yourself, right? Like That's I would amazing. reevaluate. Like you're not going to meet the love of your life in a bar. Exactly. I mean, maybe you will, but like the last time I thought I did, we went on a date, and he told me it wasn't a date. See, and so I'm glad you answered that question yourself. And like, also, I feel like uh, one night stands or drunk hookups seem so much better. Um, 
like from far away than they are in person. Cause then you're like, Oh, why did I do that? Yeah. Well, I am sorry that you have to feel that way. That's honestly, I know that feeling and it's terrible. It's terrible. It's terrible. But I definitely think going out with your friends and just kind of changing your motive on going out. If you're going out with the purpose to hook up with people, then you're, you know, your chances of getting let down are high. Right. And also the chances of getting your feelings hurt are also higher. Also, can I say something horrible? What's up? People can smell desperation and insecurity from a mile away like a dog that sniffs drugs. That is true. That was a good one. It's what? true. You it's can true. smell it. Yeah. It's like how I can smell, like I can smell like a, like what, what was I saying the other day that I, I was like, I can read was like a mean girl. Like I can smell it from a mile away. Easily. Like it's the same shit. People wear their emotions on their sleeves, including you, Mm -hmm. even if you don't realize it. Yeah. So sometimes you really just have to fake it until you make it. And I know that's horrible to hear, but that's the only thing I can say. It's horrible to hear, but it's the honest truth. And I think the internet is so full of sugarcoating things where people can feel better about themselves and just comfort themselves with like hearing stuff like, but I genuinely think faking it until you make it because that's what I did. Right. And growing up and being the ugly friend and only being known as a funny friend was the most traumatic thing it's my entire the most life. traumatic thing of and all it, time and i deal with it now where like now i still see my younger self so when guys do flirt with me in person i like i turn them down because i'm like why are you into me there's right. no way you're actually into me or you're gonna make fun of me later this isn't real exactly yeah so it's kind of one of those things where you have to like find comfort within yourself before you start you know you can't really point the finger at anybody else you have to just find internal beauty within yourself and then you're going to be able to be like i can go out with my friends and have a good time and not right. be like the ugly dumb friend because that's where I'm at now. Right. But now that I'm subjectively attractive to some people, yeah. it's still like I have that battle with myself of going out and being like, okay, like, does he really think I'm cute or is he just fucking right. leading me on? Like, you know? Right. So. Right. No, I agree. Luck. I think <laughs> I prescribed to her. Good fucking luck. I think I prescribed to her. Self love. Self love. What's like a movie or a TV show about that? Um, Like the awkward girl that. Um, I'm gonna prescribe, um, maybe the film The Duff. <gasps> Good like, one, Ugly Betty. Ugly Betty, or the episode of actually, never mind. I was gonna say Victoria's Freak to freak out, but she was bomb and pretty as fuck before that. So never right, mind. okay, but then they just because it, I'm gonna prescribe self love. Yeah, <laughs> that's how far we're gonna we're get gonna with that. that. Jake, help. I've been dating my boyfriend for seven months now recently. He's been lying about dumb, irrelevant stuff, I think, just to get a reaction out of me. We had a talk about it this morning, but I'm honestly really frustrated still. I feel like he hasn't been putting in as much effort as he used to lately. I don't want to end things with him, but I know I don't deserve this. Okay, it sounds like you must end things with him because she just spiraled about two different, completely unrelated things in the same tell me what's wrong. Mm -hmm. And she's just like freaking out because she feels that the end is near. So you know what I'm going to prescribe to you? Um... What's that song by Phoebe Bridgers? Is it The End Is Near? The End Is Here by Phoebe Bridgers. That's a song, right? Yeah, it is. I'm going to prescribe to you The End Is Here by Phoebe Bridgers. That's not the song name. <laughs> I'm going to prescribe. You know, yeah, it is for sure. I'm going to prescribe to you I Know The End by Phoebe Bridgers because that's about the end of the world and it sounds like your relationship is also headed in that direction. Yeah. Larry? What happened? Got it. Um, I feel like I no longer have a friend group, just a bunch of separate separate friends, and it kind of sucks. I don't think that sucks. That's. Oh, okay. You think that sucks? I felt that. You felt that? Yeah. Uh, I've been going. That that gives you so much time to work on yourself. I know, but it sucks being alone, Jake, and having to sit with yourself at nighttime. I start crying. No, <laughs> but like it does suck. But like, girl, fucking focus on yourself. Damn. It's just like you'll never. You go through so many different phases in life that you will. The chances are you will have a friend group again, and once mm-hmm. you have that friend group, you're gonna reminisce on the times when you had all this time to work on yourself. Yep. And you're gonna be regretful if you've spent it worrying about why you didn't have a friend group. Yeah. I think take it and work on yourself. And I think a friend group is just. It's very time consuming. So time consuming. And it's also just like kind of pointless because there's just so many years down the line in the, your future where like you're going to have a realization where like people that you're friends with in like high school are no longer your friends. And right. To people that I was friends with when I was 20, uh-huh. I don't speak to no more. Yeah. And even the people now, I'm just like, where are we going to go? You know? How old are you now? 25. What? Mm-hmm. I thought you were 24 like me. You're 24? Yeah. I thought you were younger. Oh. How young did you think I was? Like 21, maybe. 22? Are you serious? Yeah. No, that's Nolan. Nolan's 20? Oh, you're 20? 
Yeah, he's funny. <laughs> but um, I prescribe you like, I don't know. Take your time. You know what I prescribe you? The movie The Click and the movie Mean Girls again, just to show you that maybe sometimes having a friend group is not all that. Exactly. That's what I would prescribe. Good. Yeah. Wow. Well, yeah. he's good at this, y'all. Thank you. Oh my God, we have another caller. Is today February 27th? Oh my God, it's her birthday. Jake, it's my birthday, February 27th, and I've been a pussy since 2020. Did I have this account in 2020? Whatever. Call me. <laughs> I don't think you did. Yeah. <laughs> her lying for fun. Okay. Yeah, honestly, I respect it. This is triggering. Hello? Hi, happy birthday. It's Jake. Oh my gosh. Hi. Hi, happy birthday. So cute. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> I can't believe this is real. Wait, I got. It was an Atlanta number and. I don't know. I go to school in Georgia, so that's actually, like, I answered it. That's but, so funny. oh, my God, wait. I literally can't believe this. No, yes. I literally followed, I followed you, you since literally 2020. Because Thank of you. My friend. Thank you. What was your name? Estella. Estella, how old are you turning? Um, I'm 20 today. Happy birthday. I remember when I turned 20. Thank you. Enjoy it and enjoy school. Are you recording your pod podcast or are you just... Yeah. Do you want to say hi to the pussies? Hi. Oh, my gosh. I listen every day. Oh. Well, Estella, have the best birthday. I love you. Happy birthday. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much. Of course. Love you. <laughs> Bye. Love you. That's so cute. Oh, I am obsessed with her. Jakey, that's so cute. I love calling the pussies. You, when you walked out of Tommy and everyone was screaming, that oh, was yeah. so, you're cunt. That was the best moment of my life. That was literally iconic. You were like the modern day Cleopatra. You know what? It only would have been better if Louise was there. The videos were iconic though. It was the best. When I tell you, you that was so the best cool. moment of my entire life. And you know, right after that, I sat my ass down at that date and got told otherwise. Mm hmm. I was talking to this guy every day, and when I finally talked to him about us, he told me he had just gotten out of a relationship. However, when we first met, he fully told me he was single and asked me for my socials. He sounds like a liar. Just don't proceed. Yeah. Thoughts? Um, you should kill him. Okay. Also, how did you read that so fast? Um, I don't know. I went to school. Oh. <laughs> you think you're better than me? No, just saying. Is that a fucking low blow? I was like one of those kids like in second grade that like could read. Oh. Some kids couldn't. I couldn't read at second grade. Yeah, a lot of kids, we'd go around the room and popcorn read, and um, a lot of kids were like, b -b 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 blueberry. Like, <laughs> that gave me trauma. You were a bully. In <laughs> no, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. <laughs> b -b -b That's how I read now, bitch. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> this is funny. Like, this, I don't know what to give advice to this girl, but like, this is funny. I once accidentally took a laxative on the plane ride instead of a Benadryl. I shit myself on the plane and I couldn't get up since I was in the window seat. Did you confess that? Me? Is that you? Oh, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, Larry, what did we learn today? We learned that, um, <clears throat> oh my gosh, I've learned a lot today. You know, <laughs> some girls are sillier than others. Always important to address the elephant in the room. Always important to address, yes, that. Yeah. Yeah. I've learned. What did you learn, Jake? That people can tell that I've been working out. That's true. And it's making me so feel good. really snatched and really good. Good. You know what else I learned today? What? Never to go on a date with a stranger that I just met. I met him a, a year prior. Oh. Never go on, on a date in general. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Larry, I love you so much. I love you too, Jake. Like, so much. Thank you for having Thank me. Thank you for coming this on. amazing. I love you. Pussies, I will see you next week. Bye, pussies. Wait, I have to do it. I have to do it. Okay, come on. Ten subs. Bye, pussies. <laughs> Put your tents up, put your tents up, tents up.